Welcome to this short video on how to use the Ping and Traceroute page in CA Mainframe Team Center Network Management. Ping and Traceroute are two of the most basic and commonly used diagnostic tools available. They are normally used as the first step in network diagnosis relating to inability to communicate with some node in the network, be it an application, a server, a printer, and so forth. The Ping and Traceroute page provides a way for you to test, trace, and troubleshoot IP communications in your network from your web browser in an intuitive, modern interface. This video shows you the Ping and Traceroute page and how to view and modify Ping and Traceroute default parameters and run both Ping and Traceroute at the same time. The page also enables you to run both Ping and Traceroute separately if you prefer. We'll discuss the different results areas as we go through each function. After you log in, select the IP Diagnostics tab and then click the Ping and Traceroute sub-tab. You should first review the default settings for Ping and Traceroute by clicking the Ping and Traceroute Options button to display the options area. You'll want to check the source address, interface, and region values to ensure that your results reflect the kinds of information you want to see. For IPv4, you can select either the UDP or ICMP protocols. For IPv6, Traceroute always uses ICMP. The source address specifies the IP address of a local stack interface used as the source address for the packets issued for the ping and traceroute actions. The values for both source address and interface are updated based on the region you select. You can identify the specific physical interface through which to send packets on both the ping and traceroute requests. Doing so in a ping request enables you to check the health of that interface. The default value for the region is the region in which this mainframe team center network management instance is running. To use the ping and traceroute actions, you'll need to enter a valid IP address, host name, or domain name in the destination address field. Diagnosing problems with any remote host, whether it's a file transfer that fails or a Kix or Telnet connection is slow, any remote host reachable through the TCP IP stack may need to be checked for connectivity. The connections may be slow or even timeout. Suppose a user calls saying she can't print to a network printer. The first question a network engineer should address is, is that node reachable? Use ping to find out. Enter the node name or a valid IPv4 address in the destination address field. Then you can execute a ping, a traceroute action, or both at the same time. Let's click both and then examine the results areas. Ping sends out a request to the node, waits on a response, and records the time it took for the response to arrive. This result set shows the options area contracted. You can leave the options expanded if you like. This ping request returned the message, no response to ping request from host and the IP address. This clearly would be something to investigate further. If a ping is unable to reach a remote node, or if the ping indicates slow response times, do a traceroute action as the next step. If a ping indicates a slow response, examine the traceroute results and check the trip times. Let's look at the ping results for a different node, this time for a URL by name. These ping results show the node details, trip times, packet information, and trip times for each packet for the URL examplecode.com. Depending on the node you use, you may need to scroll within this field to see all of the IP addresses and the host name. Here we're using ping to show us one or more IP addresses by starting with a node's name. We could also use ping in this way to help us verify correct DNS IP mapping when doing DNS work. Ping will time out if there's no response received within the set ping timeout option value. If the destination host is unreachable, the ping times out or receives no response, the next question is, where along the path of nodes traversed in the network to reach the destination is the potential problem occurring? The most likely reason for performing a traceroute action is that a ping is unable to reach a node or is indicating slow response times in the network. You could also use this action to ensure a path is available when adding or changing hardware in the network. The traceroute results area shows for each hop, up to the options value set in number of hops, the trip times, node, and host name of each system in the path between source and destination. The three time value should increase at a steady rate the further along the route the packets are sent. If there is a sudden and marked increase in the trip time for a particular hop along the route, this could indicate that this hop is where there's a problem that's causing end users to report slow response times. An asterisk indicates that no response arrived 
within the Traceroute Timeout option specified in the Ping and Traceroute Options area. You can expand the options at any time while using this page to change the settings. Click the Refresh icon to use your new settings immediately. This enables you to change values to help verify whether there are actual performance and connection issues as a precursor to deeper diagnostic dives. You can reset all options to the default values by clicking Reset to Defaults in the Options area at any point. In summary then, the Ping and Traceroute page provides simple diagnostic tools for getting important network information quickly and easily. Consider using Ping and Traceroute to help track network communications when a router has been amended with a new router table, a new proxy is implemented preventing a neighbor subnet access, or there's been a new configuration change in the communication server. For more information about this and other CA products, visit docops.ca.com and the CA Support Online websites. This video showed you how to access and use the Ping and Traceroute page in the CA Mainframe Team Center Network Management Interface to perform basic diagnostics. Thanks for watching.